The National Health Security Office, or NHSO, is hoping to put the universal health care scheme on par with the health benefits enjoyed by civil servants and company employees in the next five years. An effective primary gatekeeping system will be one of the themes as the NHSO, which oversees the universal health care scheme, moves into its second decade. NHSO Secretary General Dr. Winay Sawadiwan said last week that there are a few problems the office has to tackle first, like the inequality issue when compared with other health care programs and the need to focus more on primary care. According to him, though the universal health care scheme has been quite successful over the past decade, there has been the problem of equality for members of the scheme when compared to the beneficiaries of the Social Security Scheme and the Civil Servant Medical Benefit Scheme, or CSMBS. On average, CSMBS spends between 11,000 baht and 12,000 baht annually on each of its beneficiaries. The Universal Health Care Scheme, meanwhile, offers a flat 2,755 baht per year for beneficiaries under the care of participating hospitals. So, when I hope they will be able to see the same standard of treatments and rights in the next four or five years. He explained that if the NHSO were to bring the scheme up to the level of CSMBS, it would likely need about 300 billion baht per annum, three times more than the 100 billion baht needed presently. When I said it will have to improve its management system and primary care services with a proper plan. When I added that having primary care units overseen by retired nurses and doctors would also allow for more time to be spent on each patient, while those with non-serious complaints can also get treated there. At present, doctors are able to spend about two and a half minutes per patient. He hoped to see them spent at least five minutes. When I added that in some foreign countries, Doctors spend up to 15 minutes on each patient. As for Thailand's overall health care sector, Winay said more doctors are needed and that the brain drain should be stopped. Winay explained that state hospitals in cities take doctors away from major hospitals in provinces, which in turn try to attract doctors from medical facilities in remote areas. He added that the government should consider creating more permanent jobs for medical workers. The Nation Special Report by Dula Ratsang Passa for Russian TV.